Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Cameron. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same outfit as like two videos past. That was also like two weeks ago, so don't come for me. Um, yeah, today is going to be a very interesting video, and I'm super excited to film it. It's going to be a flip through of my life journal. Um, I did, here it is, right here. Um, I did work in this journal all of 2020. I think, I don't think I wrote in it like March and April, um, but I did do it for the rest of the years. This is what, but yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. This is just going to be a, vi a video of me flipping through it and just showing, showing y'all how my 2020 year went. And it obviously is very personal to me. Um, I did a lot of journal entries. Um, of just like writing down my thoughts and dreams and everything but I love watching these videos and I wanted to create one for y'all to see so just respect everything that's in my journal um, and yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the flip through Alright, so let's just get right into the journal. This is my life journal. Um, she's pretty thick. This is what I wrote in all of the year of 2020. And I just, this is like an actual anklet that I got years ago at Galveston. And it broke, so I just decided to tie it to the little strings right here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I got it from Walmart at the beginning of this year. I forgot what they're exact called but um here i think i have mine for 2021 okay so this is the notebook that i use this is the one I, this is the one i'm going to use for 2021 um it's just called the exceed notebook a5 dotted journal you can see my reflection hi um and yeah that's the notebook that i got but in white and i got this sticker from probably like an ebay or something i don't know but I just decided to keep it minimal and I outlined it in black with the sharpie and then this is what the back looks like for the inside cover the inside back cover and for the back cover I just decorated it all in stickers and then it comes with the strap all right let me move this candle a little bit aside all right so these are all the stickers that I've collected over 2020 and then in the back their stickers as well oh this is just like an extra picture that I accidentally took um, or accidentally printed out two of and yeah okay so like I said this is the front cover of the journal and then these were all like index pages so I glued them together and I decided to make or I decided to like glue all my fortunes um, these are definitely not all from this year. I did not eat this much Chinese food this year. These are like old fortunes that I had like in a glass before I moved. And I decided to do um, a spread like this. And I thought it was like super cool. So I glued all my fortunes right here. And then on the next page I glued in all my movie tickets. Obviously we had COVID so movie theaters were shut down. These are from previous years as well. Like this one's from 2018, um, 2017, um, 2014, Transformers Age of Ultron. Oh my gosh, that's so old. And some of them even faded. But yeah, that's the second page. And then this is my introductory page. It just says Happy New Year's 2020 on it. So it's my first day. And then January 20th, 2020 is when we moved in our new house. I love, love, love the spread. The black and gold and yellow just makes it super pretty. This is me and Jalen's first picture in the house. This was upstairs in our bathroom. And this is all four of us. Or all four of us and our realtor helper or something. I don't know what she's called. But um, all four of us holding up the sold sign in, our, or in front of our new house. Oh. And then this is just another Sunday spread, first day of school spread. This is January 25th. This was Jalen's last 
football banquet um, for a senior year of high school. I like this spread as well. I never thought I was going to use the stickers, but they worked perfectly with the spread. And then these are just some book reviews that I read. This is one of my favorite books all time this year. Uh, it's like a thriller. And then this one was an audio book that I read, which is really, really good. the shows slash raves to go to in 2020 um a lot of these didn't even happen because of covid of course and yeah oh and this one i had wrote february 19th and then i hadn't wrote in this journal for a long time and that's why i tied it long time no see this was may 24th so i literally skipped like two months but it's okay and then Corona happened, obviously. Oh, May 28th, I put my two weeks in at work. Dang, that seems forever ago. This is the day that Jalen graduated, June 20th. I think I had a video on it. Yeah, I had a video of him graduating. So you can go look at that on how they did that during this quarantine times. And then me and my mom got sick on June 24th. Oh, June 24th also was when my Theo Ida passed away. So sad I didn't make it to the funeral because once again I was sick. Um, and yeah, so sad. I love him. He's one of my favorite Theo's. And then this is where I started doing the tabs for the months as you can kind of see right here in the upper corner um i started doing the calendar layouts and yeah i was very bored the month of july because i was sick i was I had covid i was in quarantine for like two and a half weeks so i did a lot of journaling the majority of the thickness of this journal is from july Oh, these are like some paw prints that my friend gave me of her dog, um, Chassie. She passed away, so she was making um, paw prints of her. And then one of my friends from, or one of my old friends from high school, she drew this drawing for me, and it's super cute. I love that. And then while I was sick, my brother, of course, hooked me up on some snacks. Um, it probably didn't make me feel any better, but... Yeah, these are just all the snacks that he got me one time. And then I had a dream. And this is just a little workout session that I did while I was in quarantine. And the 4th of July was obviously boring because I was still in quarantine. And then here, oh, this was also happening. Um, all the racism and vi what is it called? Protests and stuff going around. So I just wrote down a lot of quotes from African American people. Um, like Will Smith. I love this one. It says, racism isn't getting worse. It's getting filmed, which is so true. And then I have some more quotes from Emma K. Jr., Rosa Parks, Michelle Obama, Asada Shukar. Shukar. Um, more Rosa Parks, Maya Angelou. And then this was another Sunday spread that I did while I was in quarantine upstairs. I watched the service on my computer. Another dream I had. Let's talk about like how ugly this looks. <laughs> like what kind of drawing is this? And then this is a book that I read by my pastor Rob and his daughter called The Prodigal Daughter. I really, really like it. Gave it five stars. Then I got bored and type, taped in some pictures of me and my friends. And then me and my family. Then I drew this. This is one of my favorite um, spreads just because once again I was in quarantine. I was super bored and I decided to paint this and I love how it looks. what this was oh this is another one of my 
favorite spreads. I had read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and I just did a spread of it. I printed out the book cover and I just wrote like the little letter that Sirius wrote to Harry. Here's one of my favorite books I reread since high school, I believe. Yeah, my first time was reading it in high school and my best friend and her boyfriend actually sent me a copy. And so I reread it again. I think I gave it, um, well, I guess I gave it five stars again. Oh, this was my actual birthday. Um, I was about to pass that up. But me and my best friend's brother, Bradford, he's also one of my friends. We actually went to Georgetown Square and we did a little bit of shopping. And we went to the little museum that he used to volunteer at. And yeah, it was super fun. And the next day was actually both of our birthdays. Me and Bradford had the same exact birthday, but it was my 21st birthday. I can't believe I turned 21 this year and we were in freaking COVID. I was actually supposed to go... Um, on vacation with my mom for my birthday and for her Christmas gift, but it got canceled because um, we were in quarantine and we had COVID. So yeah, these are just some of the the pictures from my birthday. This was during the day with my family, and then this was at nighttime with my friends, and I got super drunk. <laughs> Ooh, my first ever readathon. This was super fun. It was Bratz themed. And my favorite book out of that readathon was With Fire on High. It was obviously five stars. It's one of my favorite books of the year as well. This is when me, my dad, and my brother met um, Hakeem and his family in Houston. And we went to Turkey Leg Hut. And it was freaking amazing. The turkey legs are so delicious. This is a picture of them, actually. Um, hopefully it's focusing, but... Yeah, we traveled out there for a day, literally a day trip. Like, we drove there, ate, and then left. Yeah, this is a spread about me and Reggie. We went to, or he took me out to the Lantern, see the Lanterns, and then we went to 6th Street and go bar hopping. That was a really fun night. And then... That weekend, yeah, was it the same? Yeah, it was like the next day, yeah, October 10th, and this is October 11th. I didn't even fill out my day 30th of gratitude. Oh well, I was so close too. Got my first plant, um, Goku and Chi Chi. They're slowly actually dying right now. I think um, Chi Chi is actually dead, um, but it's okay. This was my first time going to a show again in 6th Street. I saw Jigga and Squinto. So glad that I got to take a picture with them. This is just a random um, spread because I was feeling really down right when I woke up. I felt very insecure. And so I just did a very ugly um, green color spread. This was Emilio's birthday. It was super fun. We went zip lining. I have a video on this. I personally didn't go zip lining, but I watched them and my brother go, and it was super fun. Made a video about it. And then another a little collage because I started doing my skincare routine. So, did that. Went out with my friends um, to 6th Street and we bar hopped, so this was really fun. Yeah, this is the very last entry of my journal. I just did a 2020 reflections page of like the major things that happened in 2020. And then I did a 2021 resolutions, which I think I am going to be adding more resolutions, but I don't want to like overwhelm myself. So this is what I have so far. And yeah, it's the end of the page. All right, that is the end of the flip through. I hope y'all enjoyed my 2020 life journal. 
Um, I tried to go as fast as I can because I didn't want this video to be super long. But I hope y'all liked it. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and click that red button down below to subscribe to become part of my awesome family. And comment down below if y'all do any journaling because y'all know that I love journaling. But I want to see if y'all do any. And yeah, I guess I'll just see y'all in the next video. Bye.